Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my makeup brushes and how I dry them with the Sigma Dry in Shape. Now, um, I just got this MAC brush cleaner, but to be honest with you, um, I feel like this is going to go so fast on me and if you guys know of a way to make this last, please let me know because the instructions say to apply to damp brushes and work through rinse well, reshape, and dry flat, but I just feel like if I put this on each individual brush, it's just going to go by so quickly. So today I'm just going to show you how I wash my brushes using shampoo, and I'm not going to show you how I wash each and every single brush. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I just like using any old shampoo. I'm going to use Pantene. I'm going to start with my face brushes, and I'm just going to wet this one a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. I have different brushes. I have some from Sigma. I have some from um, Coastal Scents. And what I'm doing is I'm just gently rubbing this with some shampoo, getting it all nice and lathered up. And then I just pretty much rinse it off until the water runs clear. And I actually don't think I use this brush nothing's coming out of it but you want to gently like I gently just do that Okay, so now all my brushes are clean. I know a lot of you guys like to fill up your whole sink with water and wash all your brushes in there and clean them off, but I am just such a germaphobe that I like washing them each individually. And these are my own makeup brushes. I have a ton for my makeup kit, so it is kind of a pain in the butt that I wash each one individually, but I like it because I don't like all the dirtiness of the dirty water in the sink. Yeah, I don't know. I just, <laughs> whatever. But anyways, here's my Sigma dry in shape. This helps reduce the drying time of your brushes. And I'm just going to go ahead and start placing my brushes into this. And this is going to reduce my drying time to like four hours. And I'm just going to place these all in here. They do all fit. Okay, so I have all of my brushes in there. And not all of my brushes fit. There wasn't enough room. I still have these here that are going to have to air dry. But that's okay. They should dry pretty fast because they're little brushes. And if you can see, I doubled up on some of my brushes. And now what I do is I just turn this upside down like that. Let me put a towel. And I set them on the towel like this to where all the bristles are facing down so they can dry better. And then I just start laying the other brushes that are left over like this on the towel with the ends kind of hanging off so they can really dry. So let me grab my phone. It is... Gosh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 8.21, and I will be back in four hours, you can see that, to show you if the brushes are dry. So I will be back in about four hours. Okay guys, it is now 12.33 a.m. Yes, it is 12.30 in the morning and I'm still awake. Oh my gosh, and those are my two cute kids on my phone. Anyways, <laughs> I want to show you my brushes. This has only been four hours, mind you. Um, it does, um, the dry and shape does claim to dry your brushes within four to six hours. Just in case some of these are still wet, they probably need another two hours. 
but we'll check them. I'm going to check my biggest brush right now, which is my Sigma powder brush. This is the F30, and this one is still a little bit damp, to be honest with you, but normally I do leave them for about six hours and they're totally dry. So this one is still wet. Um, let me try another one. This is the Sigma Duo Fiber F50. Look at how nicely shaped. This is pretty much dry. It's a little bit damp actually. Not bad, but like I said, another two hours it would have been good. It normally takes just letting my brushes air dry, it would normally take like 12 hours for them to dry on their own. And my brushes are also in the bathroom and there's no ventilation in this bathroom. There's like not an air vent. This is my Sigma F82 and it's also still just a little bit damp, but not bad. Like I said, I should have actually put these to dry out in my dining room area or upstairs because air conditioning would have hit them as well. And this is my Sedona Lace flat top face buffer and this one is still a little bit damp as well. So I think in another two hours, if I would have given another two hours they would have been dry. And then I'm going to try out some of these little brushes to see if they're dry. This is the Sigma E35 tapered blending and this is dry. This is like completely dry. But so that one's dry and all the other little ones are dry. But that is pretty much my review and showing you guys how I clean my brushes but my review of the Sigma dry and shape. I really do like this you guys. Uh, like I said another two hours and these would have been completely dry. I'm gonna let them sit for Another two or three hours, just overnight actually, since I'm going to bed right now. But there you have it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!